Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. I just want to do a quick video about Better Twitch TV or more commonly abbreviated to BTTV, explaining what it is and how to get it up and running for yourself. So before I do that, I just want to add a quick note is that I have done a written blog post about this on my site, but that is more like a quick guide how to get it up and running while this video goes into more details on death. But if you're interested, interested in the written version, there is a link beneath the video in the description. And if you thought that this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. But before we do anything, I think it's important to understand what the BTTV is. So BTTV is a browser extension, meaning it's basically a plugin you install for your browser and it adds more features to the Twitch TV website. Most notably, it adds more emotes, but technically it just converts specific chat messages to emote images, giving you the possibility to use more emotes in a Twitch channel. It is created and maintained by a company called Night Dev, and you've probably heard about this company before because one of the other projects they have done is the famous Nightbot, which is a chatbot you add for your own Twitch channel. So before we install the Better Twitch TV extension, let us just check if it's already been installed. So let me minimize this and bring up two other browsers. So now I have two browsers next to each other. Uh, the one to the left is my Firefox and the one to my right is my Chrome. So we're going to do this guide step by step in each browser so you can see how it's done. So there are two ways to check if the extension is already installed. The easiest way is if you go to a Twitch chat. So for example, this is my Twitch channel and this is the chat. And if you type Monka S in the chat box here and press enter, we will see that it literally says Monka S. It has not been replaced with the emote image. So this means that the extension has probably not been installed or not been configured properly. And this Monka S is something called a global emote. So it will work in all Twitch uh, channel chats. So since we can read the Monka S text here, we need to make sure that the extension has been installed. So we're going to first do this in Firefox. So let's go up to a hamburger menu here, click on it, and then go to add-ons. And here you can see that the better Twitch TV extension has not been installed. So let's do the same thing for Chrome. We click on the three dots, then over to more tools, and then to extensions. And here you can see that no extensions at all has been installed for Chrome. So to install this, it's pretty simple. So let's first do this in Firefox. So all you need to do is to open up a new tab and then search for Better Twitch TV and then go to their official website and click download for Firefox. And then we need to add the extension to Firefox and add it. So in Firefox, they will also ask, do you want to enable this in private windows? So we want to do this as well, okay. So let's do this the same thing for Chrome. Open up a new tab, search for BTTV, go to the official website, click on download for Chrome, and then click on add to Chrome button, add extension. Okay, so now that we've installed the extension, let us just double check that it's working. So let's go back over to our Twitch chat here and do a refresh on each page. So I've re refreshed Firefox and I'm refreshed Chrome. And let us do the same test as we did in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to type Monka S in the chat here. And as you can see in Firefox, Monka S has been replaced with the emote image here. But in Chrome, it still says Monka S text. And another difference you can see here is that there is a new smiley down here in Firefox, but there isn't in Chrome. And this is the remote menu for the Better Twitch TV uh, extension. So that means that we haven't properly configured the extension for Chrome. So let's do that now. So what we need to do here is go down to the chat settings, scroll all the way down to the Better Twitch TV settings. And then here, there are three settings we need to uh, enable. The first one is that we need to enable the emotes, better Twitch TV emotes. And we want to enable the GIF emotes, the animated GIF emotes. And in order to get the emote menu down here, we need to find that setting as well, emote menu, and we're going to enable that. So let's close the settings and refresh the page. 
So if you go back to Firefox and type monk s here, you will see that it shows on both browsers now and we get the remote menu. So that means we have successfully installed the extension and configured it properly. So before I end this video, I just want to mention something I said in the beginning of the video and that is something called global emotes. So if you look in the emote menu here I've opened, you see there is a bunch of emotes up here and these are the global emotes. So if you just search on the internet, BTV global emotes, go to the official website, you will see that they have global emotes here and this list of emotes here is the same as emotes here. And they are called global emotes because it doesn't really matter which Twitch channel you're in, they are globally accessed. So for example, you can use the Gasp uh, emote in any channel you want. However, if you are a streamer and you have your own Twitch channel, you could log into the Better Twitch TV website and upload your own emotes. So if you go to, if you've logged in, then you can go to dashboard and then you can upload your own emotes. So for my specific Twitch channel, I have uploaded these emotes now. So if you go back to the chat, open up the menu, you will see that this list of emotes is the same as this list of emotes. And these are specific for my own channel. So if you have your own channel, you can upload your own emotes. So for example, you can use the Monk Steer one. So this was a quick overview of the Better Twitch TV browser extension, what it is and how to get it up and running for your own channel. And if you thought that this video was useful, feel free to give a thumbs up and I wish you a continued great day.